Greetings and welcome to RC Cars Adventures with the 4x4 Rock Crawler Part 2. If you missed Part 1, it'll be in the video description and or in the cards, if I feel like putting it in the cards, of course. Um, like I said, after further debate and review, I decided to split this into two parts. Make you can mostly thank the Motorola Z2 Force for that, so yeah, it's one of its idiosyncrasies. I don't know why it does it, it just does. So, if it will be as it was your birthday, congratulations, happy birthday. Make it a good one. I want to say thanks again for, or not necessarily thanks again, but thanks in advance, rather, for your support of my channel and myself, be it by rating, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now to this video, or any other video I have on YouTube. It tells YouTube if I'm doing a good job or not, helps spread the word around YouTube and Google and other search engines, and of course, word of mouth spreading is always a good thing. And if you're subscribing, you see any new videos I put up on YouTube, and your YouTube newsfeed, and your weekly YouTube email. Hit the bell, and you can be notified of any YouTube videos I put up on YouTube. Last but certainly not least, check the video description for my medical bill donations. I appreciate those donations as well. Any amount helps out, of course. And as Gains from the, uh, Gains from the Grave would say on YouTube, it helps to keep this channel alive and not dead. And myself as well, of course. Alright, so with that being said, let's just um, go all the way down there. We're right around where those, um, you know, where those rock hills are. And we'll pick up right where I left off. And we're back. Like I said, that Mo these Motorola C Z2 forces have this little idiosyncrasy of stopping the recording like 10 or 15 minutes in. And I think I just triggered it. So this is part two of RC Cars Adventures with the 4x4 Rock Crawler. All right, so I'll get to the get to the curb here, and wait for my fat face to come up there too. All right, so we're at the curb, or the side of the street. Nothing there, nothing there. Safe to cross. Remember, kids, safety's first on my videos and on my channel. I leave my safety first. I'll take the straight path. This thing will just take the rough, the rough and rocky beaten path, I guess. Well, it's going to take the rocky beaten path until it gets stuck. I suppose. Well, I guess it's stuck again. Oh well. Put it back in the street. Oh, we got some cars coming. Let's just put the truck right there. That way the little Ford can come by and um, make its way through. And it's gone. So let's just, let's just go on home before this thing gets even more busier than what it is. There's a little kid. Let's see if we can make a chase it. <laughs> None shall pass. <laughs> Here comes the big bad monster truck getting away from you. It's scared. It's so scared it's going to hide under this Jeep. <laughs> oh, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. They go under the Jeep. Or not. Third time's a charm. Nope. 
Four times? Yup, it's under there. It's under the Jeep. It's under the Jeep. No, and it's out again. Imagine that. <laughs> He's having a ball chasing this thing around. Let's make it go under my dad's Santa Fe here. That car's so scared it's going to hide under dad's Santa Fe. And as we and as uh, Jamie's having fun, we see Hunter getting ready for his truck to be aired on YouTube. But this is not a two for one deal. You know, high watch and retention time is always a good thing on YouTube. But I just like to have fun, be in, keep entertained, and not drag things out farther than necessary. Wow, probably over 15, 20 minutes now, and this car is still going. And this is and this is the stock battery pack. I didn't even get a chance to order that expansion yet. I actually might make this part part two of RC Car Adventures and make it an, another video at this point. I don't know. Oh, he tripped over the car. Oh, well, fun's over. <laughs> Tip it over for me, Jamie. That'd be great. Thank you. I know you did a good job. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now the video could go on and I don't have to tow it anymore. Yay! See, it's always fun when you have help with these things, isn't it? Of course. Because it's a never-ending thing. Right. Coming to get you. Get me with that. <laughs> well, then again, too, this battery is still, you know, fresh out of the box when I just unboxed it the other day from that video, if you remember. So of course, you know, batteries are going to have, you know, like the full, the full span of the uh, 4.8 volts to 500 milliamps. It's going to have it for at least three full charge cycles. And after that, it's, oh, that's nice. It went right directly under his feet, didn't even trip. That was awesome. But as I was saying, normally batteries get their full charge and potential. I'd say three full drains of dis full discharges and recharges. That's normally how it works, but with NICADs, unfortunately, they're so cheap and they like to make memories and they wear out faster than a Lie Poly or Lie Ion. But it is what it is. It's still a very good truck, though. No! No, no! Sorry, Jamie. Ah. Nice. It's hit the... It, it was recovering itself. Flip it over for me, bud. Please and thank you. Appreciate it. No, we are not testing out the whole driveway thing. We already did it once before. I'm not getting innocent people hurt. Yep, he's starting to touch it. Looks like either he's catching up or this battery is almost dead. This is fun. <laughs> Let me see if I can't take this thing into the side yard right quick. There it is. It's trying to do something. Hey, hey. It's up there. Well, talk about going around the block there. Almost. Tip it over for me. Fix me. 
Please and thank you. Take it. Take it off it. Okay. Go. <laughs> nope. It didn't work. Yeah, just put me over just right there. Please and of course, thank you. You see, I have good manners on my channel. I also like to, I also like to go through good manners as well. But yeah, with that being said, talk about going around the block. Mostly. Up, oh, he kicked my car. Oh, well, you kicked it. You tipped me over. You fixed me up. You kicked my car. Thank you. I do my best. Little side humor in my YouTube videos. Like I said, it's mostly, you know, for entertainment value anyway. Nothing else. I'm glad you guys are getting entertained if you are. It went over the stick. Yep, it went over the stick. I think this thing's almost out of juice. All right, I, my hands are starting to get a little nibbly out here. It's kind of like 45 degrees and windy as heck. My hands are starting to get a little nibbly. So um, that's the end of uh, RC Car Adventures number two with this car. Or three, if, if we're keeping count of this. And that concludes part two of RC Car Adventures with the 4x4 Rock Hauler. Can't wait for next time. Yeah. It's been Adventure Link. See you later. Signing off with the wise words of wisdom from Eric the Car Guy. Be safe, have fun, and stay dirty. Thanks again for your support of me and my channel. Thanks again for watching. Pass all the way through if you can. That would be great. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.